some of us had to, we were bivouacked in a house there. And they put some of us out on the streets to see what was going on. And we couldn't get back. And, uh, Why couldn't you get back? Because there were guys in the yard before that didn't want us back. Uh-huh. And they were armed and they were using them. <laughs> Germans? Huh? Germans? Yeah. Okay. And we, uh, I bumped into a, I was by myself on the street and bumped into a, another GI who was by himself. And uh, we were, had ducked behind a tank. It was a German tank. Did you know it was a German tank? We didn't until we got behind it and the guy had popped his head out of the turret. And you could see the helmet on him and we knew it was. But they didn't know we were there. And as soon as we got a chance, we ducked out of there. And uh, that was a, quite a full, interesting night. Did you ever make it back to the house you oh, were big like that? Sooner by the next daylight, the next day we finally got back. Finally got back, and we'd had a couple guys wounded in the house there. But they sent us out of to look things over. And there was counterattack in there and done some firing through windows and one thing and another. And they caught a couple of them in there. And, and uh, we had one guy that, he, he was a nut. He uh, didn't act like he had all the rights. He was a jeep driver. And he would do some of the craziest things you could imagine. He got wounded two or three times just from being careless. What would he do? Well, he just wouldn't pay attention where he was going and stuff like that. Mm hmm But he had lived through all of them and made it home. But, uh, of course, that was the hardest thing I ever had was not long after that. We had a martyr attack at night and uh, one went off close to us and killed one of the men in my squad and he was only about half a dozen feet away from me when the shell went off and it uh, killed him. What made it so bad, he had a blood cousin that was in our outfit too. Uh, him and his and his cousins and mothers were sisters. Mm hmm And uh, he was the one that had to take his his cousin home. Wow. And I said, uh, to this day I can't get over that and I said that all you I wondered what what he thought when he got home and met his aunt. The boy's mother, mm -hmm. and told her he was right there with him when he got killed. You think that would maybe bring and, her some uh, some solace, knowing he was her son wasn't alone. He wasn't alone. No, no, we all were there with him. We were all pretty upset too about every other story. Sounds like he's still a little bit upset when you think about it. Oh, yeah. It's still a little bit uh, touching. Mm -hmm. Some things you never get away from that were there. That was one of them I always remember. Mm -hmm.